Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the country's most popular president in its history. Having a tough time with the teleprompter again. The only way to spare more pain and more loss, the only way these millstones no longer mark our national mourning, these milestones, I should say, no, no longer mo mark our national mourning. Yeah, um, is anybody else concerned about this? Anyone? I'm Tyler Zed. Welcome to Z Education. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of That Didn't Age Well. If you are new to this series, here on this series, we talk about hypocritical and lying politicians, mainstream media, celebrities, and entertainers. And today, as has been the theme of 2021, we have a jam-packed episode. Bill Gates, you're not supposed to eat meat anymore, guys. Throw it away. Global warming, I mean climate change, throw away the meats. Stop it. We've also got some more facilities for migrant children. Huh, the the rebranding of the kids in cages, more of that, among many other hypocrisies and things that didn't age well. But first, before we get into today's list, I have had many of you ask me about Rumble, and we are now finally over on Rumble. So all of the videos here on Z Education will now be posted over on Rumble. So if you are over there, please go support this channel by subscribing over there. And for anyone new here that is not going to stop eating meat, please subscribe to this channel and please click the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now, on to today's list of things that didn't age well. Number 10. Oftentimes we see journalists start becoming political and they start nitpicking and attacking just to attack, like this. What US senator in history pointed menacingly at witnesses like this? How dare Senator Hawley, Republican Senator Hawley, point like this? He's trying to intimidate the witnesses. No one in US history has ever done that, except for these people. Wow, look at Elizabeth Warren menacingly pointing at the witnesses. Jeez, Cory Booker too? And oh my heart, wow, this might be the worst one. What a menace. How dare Senator Biden point menacingly like this at his witnesses? Unbelievable. Number nine. For this one, we go to a rather sad story, but uh, a sad story that somehow, and this is the common theme now, gets twisted to fit the SJW narratives. Elderly Thai man in San Francisco killed by teen in unprovoked attack. And this was a horrible, horrible thing. There's video of this. Video of this happening. Teen facing murder pleads not guilty in death of elder. Maintaining innocence even though there is video evidence. And the SJWs latched onto this case, ignoring the video evidence, and started saying stuff like this. End the violence towards Asians. Let's unite against white nationalism. But white nationalism had nothing to do with this. Number eight. Many of you have probably followed crypto recently, specifically Bitcoin, because the prices have skyrocketed. And if you got in early, let's say several years ago, you are sitting on a mountain of cash. But this did not age well for some people because back then people were sick of others buying crypto at the low, low prices. Take for example, back in 2015, Reddit post from a woman divorcing her husband because he buys too much Bitcoin. The price was $200 at the time. And if you don't know, the price of Bitcoin is still hovering around $50,000 a coin. And he was buying at $200 and she divorced him over it. That's what happens. Number seven, China has been putting people into camps because of their religious views. China has been burning down religious temples because of the religious views that these temples hold. And recently, Canada voted to recognize China's treatment of the Uyghur population as genocide. And on top of Canada recognizing China committing genocide against these people, even CNN's Jake Tapper is speaking out against the treatment of the Uyghurs in China. The Chinese government is committing genocide against the Uyghurs right now. We know where, and the world is just sitting back and letting it happen. Disney even thanked local party appreciate Disney even thanked local party aperitics for letting them film Mulan there. And I have to say, Jake Tapper is right for calling these people out. Canada is right for labeling it a genocide. But what about Joe Biden? Culturally, there are different norms that each country 
and they, their leaders are expected to follow. Different cultural norms. Genocide is different cultural norms. That's coming from the most popular presidents, most popular presidents in United States history. Number six. For this one, we go to some foolish blue check marks and the power of misinformation. From this clown, this is a real tweet saying Ted Cruz said, I'll believe in climate change when Texas freezes over. And this tweet by this clown went very viral. 19.5 thousand retweets, 103 thousand likes. And then he came out later and said, oh, I guess it's not real. Wow. But the problem with that is, look, only 50 retweets, 386 likes. So people are still out there thinking that this is a real tweet because this idiot posted wrong information. No repercussions for these people. But if it was somebody else on the right, their account likely would have been banned. Number five. Speaking of the hypocrisy in big tech, we go to Facebook for this one. Back in 2019, Mark Zuckerberg calls Facebook a free speech zone as critics demand more restrictions. Free speech zone. He said that. And now he is going as far as banning reputable news sites in places like Australia. Facebook blocks news in Australia over government plan to force payment to publishers. Blocking news sites, that's next level free speech zone. Number four. For this one, we go to my home state and we go to Minneapolis. We've all heard the defund the police narrative, but we're gonna take a look here at these headlines and how that has evolved and really not aged well for the city of Minneapolis. June of 2020, Minneapolis council moves to defund police, establish holistic public safety. Shortly after, Minneapolis violence surge as police officers leave department in droves. September, Minneapolis City Council alarmed in search in crime months after voting to defund the police. Flash forward, with violent crime on the rise in Minneapolis City Council asks, where are the police? Some Minneapolis City Council members would like a redo on defunding the police report. And flash forward to now, February 13th, 2021, Minneapolis to spend 6.4 million to recruit more police officers. Yeah, defund the police, guys. That worked out so well. Less than a year. Less than a year, this backfired bigly. Number three, sticking on defunding the police. Another great example from San Francisco. San Francisco Mayor London Breed announces cuts to police in new city budget. The mayor announced a $120 million cut to the police and sheriff's department. Flash forward to 2021. Just in, San Francisco's Richmond district has reported a 370% spike in burglaries this year compared to 2020. Defund the police, get rid of them, get rid of them. They're they're all bad, they do nothing good. They Seriously, you guys, except for increase 370% spike in crime when you get rid of them. Number two, guys, I'm sick and tired of the conspiracies, okay? This is one that spread in the right-wing groups not too long ago, check this out. The latest right-wing attack on Democrats. They want to take away your hamburgers. Take away your hamburgers? Are you kidding me? Conspiracy theorists? Are you nuts? Except for this is actually real. Bill Gates thinks we should start eating 100% synthetic beef. Global warming, guys. I mean, climate change, guys. Stop eating beef. You heard it from the computer guy himself that apparently knows everything about everything. And apparently we should listen to him about everything. Stop eating beef. Except... I'm not going to do that. I actually just had a T-bone steak last night and it tasted delicious. And I'm going to continue to do that. And I hope you do too. Number one. For number one this week, we have to go back to the kids in cages because this was a big deal. I continue to hear this stupid narrative in my everyday life. I have friends and family who still talk about Trump's kids in cages. And they were actually happy when Trump left because that meant an end to kids in cages, right? Look at this person. What a relief. My son just hugged me and said, Mommy, no more kids in cages. Tears of joy and tears of sadness. I'm going to go ahead and say your son didn't actually say that, um, but this did not age well for all of you sheep zealots out there who attacked Trump for this, for the cages that were built under Obama Biden, and now they're building more. First migrant facility for children opens under Biden. Look at that facility for migrant children, but also Washington Post. I want to ask you why there's bars on the windows. Why are there bars there? It looks awful like a cage. It does. It looks like a prison cell, if you ask me. Wow. I just. So not only are they putting kids in cages with bars on the window, they're building more cages. Ah, oh, you love to see it. You love to. See... But hey, guys, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's rebranded now because Orange Man is gone. 
This doesn't matter. They won't talk about this anymore. All right. And you shouldn't either. What do you think about Biden's holding facilities for migrant children? What do you think about that? What do you think about Bill Gates telling you you shouldn't eat beef anymore? Let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. And again, if you are over on Rumble, please head over there and subscribe there as well. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. Everybody knows I like kids better than people. Idiots.